Hey everyone. In this video, I will be explaining you, how to install the latest official, eFootball, 2022, in your Windows PC through Steam. eFootball 2022 is the successor of eFootball PES 2021 by Konami. To simplify it, you can consider like, the Pro Evolution Soccer Game series, has been rebranded as eFootball, and it is now, a free game, with in-game purchases. Never download eFootball 2022 from some unofficial source, to avoid getting malware in your PC. The official source to download eFootball 2022, is Steam. For those who don't know about Steam, in simple words, it can be called a store for PC games, just like Google Play Store and Android Mobile. If you don't have Steam installed, you may check the video in pinned comments or description, to understand how to download, and install Steam for free, from their official website. If you have Steam installed, and have an account in Steam, log in using your account. Once you open the Steam window, at the top, you can find the option to navigate to store, just follow as I am doing on my screen. Here, in the search bar just type eFootball and you can find the game. Click it. On scrolling down, you can see the first option as play game. You may buy any premium player packs or add-ons if you wish to, but as of now, I don't recommend them. On clicking play game, you will get a pop-up with some settings and information. Here you can choose where to install the game. If you have no idea what to do, just proceed with the default options that come, following steps as I show. Press next and agree to the terms, after reading them if you wish to. When you click I agree, it will create folder for downloading the game files. Now we need to go check if the download has started. Before that, if you would like to follow news and updates regarding the game on Steam, you can follow here. When making this video, eFootball 2022 was just released, and the initial reviews turn out to be very negative. Also FIFA 22 just got released, with overall initial reviews positive. Let's wait and see how they turn out to be over time. Note that here, you can find the minimum and recommended system requirements for eFootball 2022. To check download status, go to your library section and you will be able to see all downloaded games from Steam. Select eFootball 2022, and you see the status, or you can tap the downloading button at bottom, the total download size will be around 24 GB, and it occupies about 28 GB on your storage drive after installation. The download and installation, will take a few hours, depending on your internet connection speed. You are free to pause, and then resume download, anytime, even across multiple days, if you have a limited internet plan. Once download and installation is complete, you can see the play button enabled. The game is ready to be played now. After you install the game, you can always find and open the game, from your Steam library page. But, before playing, you may need to configure your controller, or keyboard, select optimal graphics settings, and so on, before opening the game. If you want tutorials regarding them, or any other issues you are facing, let me know in the comments section, and I will try making them. If you wish to have a look, at the raw gameplay experience before downloading, check out my next video. I will attach them in the pinned comments or here after I make them. I will be making more eFootball and PES videos in this channel. So do subscribe, so that you don't miss them.